Hello everybody, my name is Richie, and today we are going to sit down and have our next Hunter talk about the patch 9.05. Just really quick, gonna pull over the Wowhead article. Um, I don't want to go over the entire changes to Hunter, there were a few nice fixes, like they fixed an issue where you aim shot it with trick shots and then you press volley, you might not get uh, trick shots from volley, so they fixed that, uh, which is nice. Um, apparently they fixed that days ago, I just missed it. <laughs> I just I just saw that they fixed it when I scrolled down to here, so I thought I might say it. But the big thing, quote unquote, that they fixed is this one, Serpent Stalker's Trickery. No longer tricks, triggers wild spirits twice. So that results, yes, loss for marksmanship hunters. I will go over sims for that really quick in a second. Just wanted to address that if you heard the rumors of the Eagle Talents build, this build is now dead because of this one right here. So the build was just to press a lot of aim shots during the long true shot and get very, very high damage. Um, because of that, but now that they changed the focus cost from 50 to 25, you can no longer do that. That build is dead. On the other hand, they buffed surging shots a little bit, so this legendary is looking a bit better now, but still not as good as Serpent Stalker's Trickery. Just uh, really quick for general use, this is still the go-to. If you want to have an easier option, pick this one. Uh, what do I mean by easier option? Well, you have more rapid fire. More rapid fire means you have more focus. You have more spells that you can cast on the move. So you're just it's just a bit easier to play with. That's what I meant by that. Um, they also buffed a bit a few things for Beast Mastery Hunter. So Beast Mastery Hunter is a bit better now, but still not where marksmanship is. What do I mean by that? Um, let's look at a few sims really quick. So this one is like one of the best single target sims that I ever had. That was last week's Great Vault. So I have been at 6.1k DPS and now I'm down to 6k. So I lost like 100 damage on single target and I I don't wanna... Uh, no, I, I'm not gonna look for an AoE sim in... Uh, like a, a good one. I do many, many AoE sims with different things. But on AoE, the, the damage loss is a bit more than on single target, yes, but it's still okay. Like, I ran a key yesterday, uh, and we also progressed Stone Legion Generals yesterday, and I still had the 20k and or 30k burst windows on packs in keys, and I still had... Uh, huge damage on Stone Legion Generals, since that's a fight where we're just good at, with 5 target cleave, that's uh, there a lot. So yeah, um, just to look at the AoE sim really quick, you still play shoulder pads of Serpent Stalkers in, in Mythic Plus, that is. Like if you go down here, um, the next legendary on the list would be either the True Shot one, or... Yeah, the, the surge, sur surging shots one, they are on par in this specific sim. Um, I still wouldn't go surging shots, because it's a huge damage loss on single target. Like, it's 300 damage lost on single target, but you don't lose as, mu as much on AoE. We're going to look at another sim where surging shots wins. This one is an AoE sim with heroism, here Serpent Stalker wins. This one is an AoE sim without heroism, here Surging Shot wins. And Serpent Stalker, I didn't even check, Serpent Stalker is, yeah, okay, Serpent Stalker is like 150 DPS behind on that sim, okay. So, thing is, with Surging Shots, I was like, hey, can we play Kyrian now? We could, in theory. Curian did a sim where we can see that. I just don't find it. The hell? Professional video, by the way. Okay, we're just going to run this sim again. 
plug us in some Kurians really quick. Man, I was I was sure that we had a Kurian sim prepared. I'm kind of surprised we don't. <laughs> but it shouldn't take too long. But the thing is, you see a few guys in the leaderboards of Radar.io go Kurian now. Um, I personally don't think it's the play yet. It might get better once our our gear gets higher. It's just the feeling of mine that the crit scales better with uh, with with higher gear. But yeah, if if you do the the AOE sim with Kurian, you can wait. What? That's not Kurian. That's Korean. <laughs> oh no! What did we do? Okay, yes. Here's the Curian sim, I think. Yeah, it's still Night Vinaya, Night Vinaya. Uh, okay, here's the Curian here's the Curian sim. So you see a few guys going Curian on the on the leaderboards. And I mean they are pretty much on par you know, for Mythic Plus, Night and Curian. The thing with Curian is you just have more burst uh, windows, like you have one minute cooldown, so you have burst every one minute, you have more, more CDs for stuff like prides, so you, you can do like, you, you pop true shot for a pack, pack is dead, pride spawns, you have resonating arrow for the pride, and then after the pride, which takes like 40 seconds or so usually, after the pride, have your CDs back, uh, like your true shot back. Uh, almost instantly, yeah, no, not almost instantly, like 20 seconds later or something like that. But that's what's going for Kyrian, and I think that's why people are swapping to Kyrian, because you just have more frequent bursts uh, instead of a bigger burst every two minutes. So if you want to go Kyrian, feel free to do so. Uh, I personally not go Kyrian now, maybe later. But yeah, ELDR of all of this is... We can still play Night Fey with Serpent Stalker. But to address this really quick, uh, Corian with First Strike is really good if you have a lot of targets spawning over and over. Like Spiteful, for example, where you get new targets throughout the pool. I, I will be playing Corian for, for the next Spiteful weeks. And I'm not sure if, if First Strike works on Explosive Orbs, but boy, if First Strike works on Explosive Orbs, I will be playing First Strike in every Explosives week too, because you have like, what, 100% uptime on this, or I don't know, 80% maybe? We shall see. I, I, will, I will let you guys know how First Strikes perform in, in, in Fightful and Explosive week. Okay, and just to wrap things up really quick, Beast Mastery Hunter. My gear isn't optimized for Beast Mastery Hunter, just let me put out that, and I'm simming, like what, 40 DPS, lower, 50? I know I'm, I'm actually stupid, it's like 65 DPS or something like that. That be Beast Mastery seems lower than uh, Maxman for me. For me, actually, Dire Command 1, uh, it's just a thing where Rylax Stalkers that's... Do I have a sim with it? Yeah, this one here, where Beastry Rev gets more crit. So, Relic Stalkers, uh, Soulforge Embers, and Dire Command are pretty much on par on single target. Like, it depends a bit on your gear and what you're running uh, to, to have one of those win, pretty much. So, they are both equally good. Pretty much on single target, depending on your gear. But on AoE, Soul Forge just blasts way harder than the other options. So yeah, the only thing Beast Mastery is lacking is like the burst windows that Marksman has. So even though they are pretty close on damage, <laughs> on single target damage, you would still bring a Marksman Hunter because you, in, in a scenario where two specs do the same amount of damage on a 5 minute sim and 60 DPS is pretty close, right? But in a scenario where two specs do the same amount of damage on a 5 minute sim, it still bring the, the spec that has more burst damage. That's why Marksmanship is still the better pick. But Beast Mastery Hunter is uh, looking like, like better. 
than it did before. And I don't know if it's just me, but I've, I've, I feel like I saw a lot of people going Beast Mastery Hunter. Like, uh, if you go to warcraftlogs.com and you go to the statistics in uh, from Raid, just like the two or three days that it's live, there is already 1,400 parses for Beast Mastery Hunter and 8,000 for Maxmanship Hunters. So, I don't know what this number looked like in 9.0, but I mean, we can check that, right? Okay. <laughs> it's been a bit more. <laughs> okay, I got fooled by myself there, but I was like, man, there is or there's like... Patch is what two days old, and there's already <laughs> and there's already like one thousand four hundred parses for Beast Mastery Hunter. So yeah, I mean I don't even want to pull that one up, but in those rankings here, marksmanship like dropped a bit to the middle if you compare it to where we've been in nine point zero. But give it a week. Like, many guilds that I know haven't even raided yet. And it's Thursday in the new patch, so second day for me on EU. So just give this a week and we will be probably looking better on Warcraft logs. Alrighty. I think I covered all what I wanted. Look at us, already in the screensaver. Okay, so thank you everyone for tuning in. Gonna see you in the next one. Bye!